The assassin had had his day. Very true. He'd kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Foltis' life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. There, in a region known as Lormark, King Henseld of Kedwin had made camp with his army. King is the key word here, denoting the central figure in my plan to capture the Kingslayer. The special forces of King made the soil light lightly upon him. Foltest had lost some of their customary enthusiasm, treating us to not one single joke of the how many ways can you skin an elf variety. Which only goes to support my theory that the human mind is capable of producing a finite amount of horror before some manner of reflection springs itself upon it. been a massacre! Bones everywhere! How in the world did Cleversig harness so much of the power? Do you always get so excited at the sight of skulls, Death Mode? <sighs> Scoff all you want, I speak of magic! The kind of spells that win wars, thousands incinerated in seconds! <laughs> power, destruction, annihilation! Hail to yes. after which Sabrina Cleversig was burned at the stake and the Pontar Valley remains within Edern's borders. Edern is a carcass. Still showing life signs, but the realm's days are numbered. No peasant revolt can change that. You're wrong, Deathmold. This country lives. I can feel it. Like an old wounded bear covered in scars, hounds all round it, but still strong. Still deadly. This will be a good war. But sire, the Edernian barons will dare stand sire. against you. Long live see the that king. shortly. I've prepared everything. Baron Fellat has forever hinted Long that he would Benson. gladly change his Tedwin, all wheels and forever. Scum. The other nobles are panic-stricken at the very thought of Saskia with her peasant and non-human rebels. They are unprepared to fight and know it very well. And Demavens Cobb? Has he named his price? Prince Stennis has yet to respond, but Felat has assured me. I must see him. Look into his eyes. I'll know what he's made of then. We most humbly greet His Majesty Henselt, King of Kedwan, heir to the dynasty of the Unicorn, Lord of Ard Kareg, Archduke of Banard, and Vanquisher of Nilfgaard. Welcome to Edern. How much do you want? Your Majesty surely jests. I couldn't be more serious. How much for your signatures? A hundred thousand Novigrad crowns, we thought. To each of us. And the titles of Marquis. Oh. We speak of Upper Eden. Of coal and silver mines. Numerous factories. The sole white marble quarry this side of the Yuruga and the North's main east-west trade route. We speak of Lormark. I advise you to adopt the new nomenclature. In exchange, we shall swear fealty and acknowledge your majesty as sovereign of these lands. You'll receive 50,000 apiece and no additional titles. Also, you'll provide guides and supplies to my army. My men will install themselves in your castles. Your armed men will gather under Sorcerer Deathbolt's command and will set out to quell the Peasant Rebellion. Sire, the common folk will hate. They simply won't understand. Yes, Felet, they will hate you. But at least this way, you'll live. Comfortably, I might add. Refuse and die. 
by my hand, or that of Saskia the Dragon Slayer. Sire, we accept your conditions. Deathmold, the scroll. Sire, there is yet the matter of Prince Stennis and his rights to these lands. So long as he lives, <clears throat> so long as the Prince lives, he'll force his claims. Then kill him, Philot. <laughs> Sire, I'm no warrior. In that case, shut up and sign. Sawyer, the Dragon Slayer approaches, white flag in hand. Excellent. Let her pass. What are you waiting for? Pick up those quills and sign. Just out of curiosity, what does Upper Eden sell for these days? Fifty thousand. How much would you have demanded, lass? King. Command your vulture to shut his beak, before I thrust his cockerel up his arse, and twist so hard he'll crow until noon reverts to morning. I... Sire, you must have her restrained. Shut up, Deathmold. I've rather taken a liking to this Saskia. Say your peace, woman. King, withdraw your army, recognize Upper Eden's sovereignty and your persecution of non-humans, and give them leave to quit your realm. Do this, and save yourself and your army. <laughs> you have balls, woman, but what would I gain? My soldiers would call me a coward. I am Henselt of Ard Kareg. I'll not run from a woman, even if she be a dragon slayer. I see one other solution. You and I, King, here and now, before these folk and the gods, I challenge you. As in the old days, when the Honourable ruled this world, Upper Eden, to the victor! The lass has gone mad to challenge a king. Sire, this is absurd. We shall crush them in battle. They say the lass has slain a dragon. She could be dangerous. I find you fetching, girl. And I want you alive. I want you and this country. You'll need to take Vergen first. Oh no, you, then Vergen, then the whole of Edom. Grab her! Yes! <laughs> In the name of Creed, Freyr, and Militale. Hey, Hawk! What's with you, Zivi? Booze made you batty. Don't you recognize me? I'll be ploughed and damned. Why the hell did you bring him here, Roach? He's a Witcher. I know who the horseman is. Ploughing Kingslayer at the gate of a king's camp. Why, he's not even bound. 
Easy, lads. The witch is no murderer, I'll vouch for that. As for kings, well, I desperately need to see yours. You're in for a wait then, Mr. Special Mission Knight. Hmm. Don't move, mutant. One of you go get the sergeant, and while you're at it, fetch a solid piece of rope to bind the freak. Come on, Zivik, no need for that. Where'd you say the king was? Out in the field somewhere, negotiating. Hey, Kingslayer, drop your weapons, or do I need to pack a bolt up your ass? Don't move! Don't even twitch, mutant! Hands where I can see him! Shoot! Smash the freak! What the fuck? Soldiers! It's Sabrina's cards! Hedonians are here as well. Your head is sight slated. We have to go in. And now, oh. friends, we must focus on our power for the spell!
Level 6 course. She's out to kill me! Stay close to me, sir. She's not far now. Deathmold, Sheila, meet me in my tent. You're to explain what the hell happened there, and how we're to get rid of it. As you command, your majesty. I'll tolerate no delays on this matter, and summon all my company commanders. Immediately, your majesty. Corporal, I'd like you to watch the Witcher closely. He just pulled me from a magic hell, so I doubt he wants my head as he took fall tests. But I'll not have him wandering round the camp like some stray dog. Occupy him for a time, then bring him to my tent. Sire, I must request an audience. Later. I'll see my mages first, then the Witcher. Ah, just lovely. And here I'd hope for a calm little war. Nowhere I might wet my throat around here. Roach, willing to vouch for this overgrown urchin? 
He did not kill Foltest or Demavend, if that's what you're asking. You've got my assurance on that. Good enough for me. Let's go, then! Our armorer. Busy as ever with military commissions, but he'll take a private commission from time to time. Ah, we're here at last. The canteen, the most important place in the camp. If you ever get bored, you should find a monster contract or two on the notice board. Hello. You their propaganda. Ah, well, what if she's truly annoyed with there? Ah, don't worry about it. The Witcher will take care of everything. Here's where the king organizes tournaments. All glamour, ceremony, noses and cocks in the air. Between those, we kill time thrashing about with swords, pikes, chairs, the works. Good stuff. No holds barred. They pay well, too, if you know who to talk to and who to bet on. Excuse me a moment, Witcher. How did the fight go? You've a nose for the Civic. You won again. My gold? You gonna bet on more fights today? Of course. I'll come by later. See him, Witcher. Loosen his bonds a bit and he's liable to jump at your throat like a rabid mutt. One of you of his Skoyatel. How did you capture him? Scouts found him wounded in the ravines. Someone massacred a small unit. The boy said it was a bloodbath, as if the Reaper just swung his scythe right through them. Whoever attacked them was very strong. Any idea who it might have been? No. But if they manage to ambush elves in the wild, I'd rather not meet them. Right, Civic. Let's go see the king. How's it going, lads? I can't feel me plowing feet from all this standing around. Any chance you'll be sending up some replacements? In an hour. Open up the gate. The king wants to see the Witcher. Ah, uh, yeah. Go straight to the royal tent. You can't miss it. I've a few things to take care of. Godspeed, Zivik. I'll be near the main gate if you need me. So long. Ha! A Witcher! The king must have summoned him to fight the raid. Nearly everyone hunts you, yet you live in spite of that. Impressive. In no small part thanks to you, Excellency. I've helped you, yes. I trust I shan't regret it. As do I. I wouldn't want to seem ungrateful. Are you seeking employment? I was unaware you fellows hired yourselves out for battle. My aim here is different. Really? Perhaps I can be of assistance. What's the Emperor's envoy doing here? 
satisfy my curiosity. The last unfortunate conflict left the Northern Kingdoms in pitiful economic condition. His Imperial Majesty desires stability. We wish to offer financial assistance, so I'm visiting those lands hardest hit by the war. Henselt is coping admirably as far as I can see. The details of my visit here are reserved for the Emperor and the Kedweni King. I need to know everything. <laughs> Magic will not help you. I'm very well protected against such attempts. Voltest was a good king. Shame he ended that way. I've already conveyed the Emperor's condolences to Constable Natalis. Since we're talking about Temeria and Voltest, apparently the fallen king's advisor, the sorceress Triss Marigold, has disappeared in mysterious circumstances. Rumors abound. Do you know anything about her? Why do you ask, Excellency? I heard the two of you are... close. Witchers and sorceresses don't generally share that kind of information. I understand it's a delicate matter. All right then, allow me to ask about something else. I mentioned Triss because I must admit, I am perturbed. Mages are known for their mutual envy and rivalry. I wonder if there's any matter that could unite them. Perhaps you could be a bit clearer, Excellency. Then I shall ask directly. Do you know anything about Merigold's involvement with an organization of sorceresses? Assuming, of course, that you are, theoretically, or have been, close. I'm not sure why the acquaintances of a sorceress would interest a Nilfgaardian ambassador. Many things interest me. Art, for example. A very interesting statuette was delivered to me today. A peculiar piece. Elusive. Sensuous. It forces one to think. Even a monster slayer might not be indifferent to the beauty entrapped within. Maybe. But I'm afraid I don't have time to admire art. Do you have any other queries? I have some matters to which I must attend. Why are you so interested in this organization of sorceresses? I wonder about some strange coincidences. I'm told several of them were seen in the vicinity when the assassination attempts occurred. What's so suspicious about that? Mages have always thronged around monarchs, a source of power and coin. I'm not accusing anyone. I merely said, it makes me wonder. I saw you with Foltest before. Now you're with Henselt. No doubt you'll visit the King of Redania next. I need not go far. Radovid is en route to Loch Muin. Perhaps he has already arrived. We'll meet there. Loch Muin? An ancient elven city quite a ways away, near the source of the Pontar. Why there? The mages wish to re-establish their council. They sent out invitations to all the kings. <laughs> 